If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how to empower dyslexics for work in less than a day. My name's Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the powerful next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've specialized in helping people manage knowledge in the workplace and for study for the past 20 years. I'm actually dyslexic myself, although I didn't realize that um, and I wasn't actually assessed until my late 40s, so not for many years. But the reason it's so powerful to empower dyslexics for the workplace is that, and the reason you can do it only in just one day, is that all you need to do is give them one skill. And I explain what that is. Now, the, what's needed in the workplace, there, there are two key things, the ability to get on with people and the ability to manage knowledge. Generally, dyslexics are pretty good at getting on with people and generally we're not that good at managing knowledge because of the way our brain processes um, information. Now the way to empower us is to remove the limitations of traditional ways of managing knowledge. So for example, um, sitting and listening. You know, for me as a dyslexic, my short-term memory is appalling. So sitting and listening in an important meeting is a non-starter. The only other two options really that I've got for managing knowledge are note-taking. Um, it's a 2,000 year old technique and it's still used today. And basically it's a record now, use later technique. And it's either done handwritten or on a laptop. So whether I sit and listen or I take notes handwritten or take notes on a laptop, each one of these places a limit on my capability to really understand information real time. And as a dyslexic, you know, I know it takes me slightly longer to understand information than others anyway. Um, my brain gets under stress if the information is particularly conceptual or theoretical, or there's a lot of terminology. So these traditional methods, the listening, traditional note-taking or using a laptop, um, for me as a dyslexic, they actually put me at a disadvantage to non-dyslexics. Now the solution is really, really simple and it takes less than a day. And the solution is to give a dyslexic a technique, a next generation note-taking technique, which enables them not just to record information, but to record it for the sole purpose of increasing their understanding. So next generation note-taking technique, you know if you've got one, it's, so, its primary reason is to increase real-time understanding so you can use the knowledge more, you can interact more, ask more questions, give better summaries, feel more confident that you're on top of it. And the second reason for using it, it gives you a really powerful set of traditional notes which um, are 50, about 50% 50 less than what you would have normally uh, recorded. And you can go back to them in six months or a year's time and be back up to speed in less than a couple of seconds. That's the quality of a next generation note-taking technique. How does it work and why is it so different to uh, previous generation note-taking techniques that you know, we were all taught at school? Well, the key qualities, again, it's really simple. There are four of them. One. It, uh, it uses deep filtering, and I explain what that is in a, a moment. Um, it uses deep processing. So you, what all the information is left, you break it in single units and then reconnect it. And it's the reconnecting that literally drives up the understanding. The next bit is a sort of, um, how would I describe it? The dynamic management of the knowledge. So once you've broken it in separate units, reconnected it, the dynamic management is working out what are the headings, um, where, to, where to put the natural breaks. Do you put in your own headings or do you use the language of the, the other person? How to make the connections? What are the questions that haven't been asked and will add value? That's what I mean by dynamic management. And then the final part of the jigsaw, this increases your understanding, but you want to be able to use that knowledge real time. And the uh, Nirvana is to be able to get a one hour um, complex meeting or presentation 
on one sheet of paper, which you can see at a glance and you're able to access every bit of that knowledge from the first minute to the last minute and use it real time. Very, very powerful. And here's how the technique works. Up here you see that um, I've got some text. Uh, we have a need for 15 new advisors to go and visit clients and for them to make presentations. Now, remember the first step is the deep filtering. So what I do is I filter out a lot of the unnecessary words, and particularly in the English language, we use lots of, I call them glue words. So I filter those out and I leave what is the important detail. So here, um, I'm gonna keep need, 15 new. Now everyone might do this slightly differently and that's completely normal, but you do this as you're listening to someone. I'd keep visit, um, I'd keep clients, uh, for them to, I wouldn't need that probably, and make presentations. So for me, as I'm listening to someone, that's the information that I will retain and I will filter out everything else. Next comes the deep processing, where I break all that information up into single units and then reconnect it. And this is what drives up my understanding and increases my concentration. So here I will go need. Uh, 15 new um, and then advisors now I abbreviate words it's fast to do and also it means I don't have to worry about spelling either um, okay visit clients and make presentations Ah, there we go, presentations. So, need 15 new advisors, visit clients, make presentations. Now, by getting the, the information into that format, in order for me to do that, I've had to really concentrate, um, which is very powerful. But it, the most important bit, it increases my real-time understanding. So this has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and they found that um, normal level of understanding for people in complex meetings is about 64%. When you use a next generation note-taking technique, it goes up 12% in just two weeks. So it goes up to 76%. And if you, uh, for those of us, you know, have been using this type of uh, technique for more than a year, it goes up to, goes up a full 20%. But the really nice thing is, if you're dyslexic, it goes even further, to 87%. So that means, as a dyslexic, I know I can go into complex meetings on subjects that I have no prior knowledge and get up to speed real time. It's incredibly empowering. And the other thing is that nirvana of being able to get one hour's worth of knowledge on one sheet of paper. Actually, this is an A5 sheet with no loss of detail. And I can go back to this in a year's time and be back up to speed in a few seconds with a really high level of recall. So if you've liked this, um, what I would say if you're dyslexic or you help dyslexics, then please look for and switch to a next generation form of note taking. It makes the world of a difference. Um, you know, feel free to use what I've shown you here, you know, or if you'd like to um, come and join me as an information athlete, you know, I'd welcome you to, welcome to show you how to use Smart Wisdom. That'd be great as well. Fantastic, so if you've liked this video, please press the like button. Um, always feel free to comment and, uh, you know, if you're dyslexic and you want to help other dyslexics, you're in the business of helping dyslexics, then please, please share this worldwide. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a superb rest of the day. Ah, oh, one final thing. At the top, on the sides or down below, um, you'll find a, God, what do you call it? A link. I knew it was a technical name. You'll find a link. Um, and if you click on that, there are some more tips on how to manage information more effectively. Thank you very much.